All right, what up my long leg legion? Today, we're gonna be showing off the Tarawashimi 5mm Arab-esque bracelet. We're gonna be starting off with a general overview of who Tarawashimi is. Then we're gonna give you some measurements and some close-up shots. So Tarawashimi is actually a student of a student of Goro's. So his um, teacher started Studio TNY and that person learned his silversmithing from Goro's. So Tarawashimi, you're gonna see a lot of eagles and what I think personally he's best known for is his arabesque designs. First, to start off, the bracelet itself, is a, the circumference is 180 centimeters. So that's round seven inches or so. I don't really bother. There it is, let's see. The width of it is like what? Three inches? Not too bad, but uh, it actually fits. It, my wrist is around seven inches. So you got it. It kind of it's kind of tight. You see that? You know what I'm saying? It kind of kind of got to squeeze it in. But once you put it on, it fits pretty well. But anyways, let's go and show you off the designs. You know what I'm saying? So this is where. So I just got this. So the silver itself hasn't started tarnishing yet, but it will tarnish eventually. One thing that he's also known for is that these um, designs are actually hand carved. So he gets a little hammer and chisel, and he actually chisels these in. Each groove has a different depth, so you can kind of like get a hint that it is handmade. And, um, yeah, this is handmade. Look at the design, look at the silver. It's 0.925, so it will tarnish. Um, he also makes uh, 10 karat white gold stuff, some yellow gold stuff, some rose gold stuff. So if you don't really want your stuff tarnishing, then you can buy those. But I really like his uh, designs on this. It's also scratched because, you know, I wear my stuff. You always got to wear your stuff. You know what I'm saying, Kings? You have to wear it. What's the point of buying it if you don't wear it? You see them scratches? This is actually from three days worth of wear, but, you know, I'm pretty rough with my stuff. I don't really care. Oh, do you see the camera? Is it there? Uh, I don't know if you know. You can tell it's mostly handmade, really, because, like, it's not a, a well-mirrored finish. Do you see how, like, kind of bends a little? The light kind of bends a little. It's not a super well-mirrored, so I think he hammers it himself. Here's the inside. You see how light kind of like it's all fat stuff. It's not a super nice mirror finish, which is kind of cool. It is a uh, handmade item. So uh, here's the eagle stamp that he does. Uh, kind of reminiscent of the Goro's idea, the motif. It's an eagle. He also does one on the inside, actually, which I really like. Let me see if I can get in focus. He also does an eagle on the inside. There it is. I feel like this is a cool eagle detail, honestly. There's that eagle. Uh, let's hopefully I get a better shot. There's that eagle on the inside. Look at that beauty. It's a cool bracelet. I really like it a lot. Five millimeters. Um, he does make an eight millimeter one. That one's a little cooler, but um, I might get that another time. I don't know. But he makes some cool stuff. You guys should really check him out. Uh, he doesn't have the same prestige as Goro's, but I think his his craftsmanship because it all this is all handmade. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's impressive stuff, really, to make this all handmade. Definitely check this guy out. He, he's 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 pretty sick when he makes his stuff, so y'all should really check him out. Who okay. cares? And then here's how it fits on the bracelet. how it fits on the wrist you know what i'm saying it won't fall off it's a good it's a good bracelet y'all should really check them out have a good one kings be safe wear your stuff you know what i'm saying kings you need to wear your stuff